All right, guys, so we are doing a review today on the new Bowmaker Sci-Fi 2s. Last year, 2019, we did a review on the Bowmaker Sci-Fis, and they came in pretty close to the same kind of price point that these are right now in that $60 range. And our findings were that we thought that they were a very nice pair of headphones. They weren't anything on the high end for sure, but they definitely weren't what we would consider a low end pair of earbuds. They kind of fit right in the middle. And we noticed that sound wise, again, they kind of fit right in the middle as well, where we were seeing not a tremendous amount of low end, but really a, a full sound in that kind of mid section. So if that was something that you enjoyed, didn't like a lot of extra low end thrown into your music, then we thought the Bowmaker Sci-Fi's were really good. But this is the version two, Sci-Fi 2. Any differences? Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna take a look at these right here. Bowmaker Sci-Fi 2's right now. Okay, my friends, so it looks like the box, very similar to the original Bowmaker Sci-Fi's. There is a tiny little two beside the word Sci-Fi, really tiny. Looking at the back, writing wise, really small. Spec wise, if you want, will put you here on Amazon's website actually, where you can actually see a lot of their controls. Now it does say, and it's funny, it says here that it's 30 hours for type C charging case, but on their website, it says 35. So I'm not 100% sure. We can definitely guess we're gonna get 30, but possibly 35 as well. What I do like is that they do have this new quick charge, which allows you and I to get one hour of listening time for 10 minutes of charge. So that's actually quite good. Gotta hate it when a battery just dies in the middle of a shoot, so I had to restart this. So lost my train of thought a little bit. But we'll get back to it. Anyways, let's actually crack them open, see what they're like. My guess is they're gonna be fit and finish, very similar to the original sci-fi's, would be my guess. We are welcomed with a little user manual. The writing's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It definitely is legible, so you guys can read that. I'm not gonna go through this too much right now. Just be aware that it's in multiple languages. Every page kind of has what it is, and then like six different languages behind it. But for those of you that are manual readers, you'll, you'll, you'll be okay with it, I guess. Yeah, seems okay. Font's a little small, but that's okay. Uh, inside here, we do get the actual pair of earbuds, and of course, we get the accessory box. We'll throw this over here. This, I think, is gonna be a welcome addition, I think. USB-A, yes, two. USB-C. So for me, that's already a big positive because the original Sci-Fi's were micro USB. So we have gone to the USB-C. Excellent, super fantastic. I love that they've done that. And if this is similar to the old pair of Sci-Fi's, you should see a bunch of tips. A lot of companies actually give you like four additionals. So mediums are on there and you'll have a large and a small. This is going to give you, yeah, way more. You're, you're going to get, I don't know, six or eight tips in there. That may look like eight tips. So eight different size tips. So that's really good. It should have no problems being able to find a good size. that's going to fit you for comfort and of course for sound. Now I usually am pretty happy with the ones that come on them because they usually put whatever's kind of right in the middle and you can kind of go from there. Now here's the actual case. Now the case design has changed a little bit. The original Sci-Fi's did have almost a textured top on it, which I actually like. This has gone smooth, but you can see size of case. That fits in your hand quite nice. Nothing wrong with that. And there's that nice little USB-C charger. We're going to open them up and there they are. Looks, I would say these are pretty much, as far as I can remember, very, very similar to the original Sci-Fi's, which I would expect. You definitely wouldn't expect them to change the shape of the earbuds, being that they really are the same model, just a newer version. Let's see what the sound is like. So I'm gonna bring over my iPad here. Just hopefully you guys can see that. We'll make sure it's all kind of there. I do like that USB-C, I think that's good. I like that. And what we're gonna do first is, I'm gonna get into my settings here, get ready on my Bluetooth, scroll right to the bottom because that's where they'll show up hopefully. Right and left, in they come, pop them in. Now the one thing to realize about the bow makers I find, maybe it's just me, there they go, is that they are a touch sensitive one. They're not physical buttons, I think these are just touch sensitive. So, do you push, power on, 
Make sure this one's on as well. Power on. There they are. You'll see them at the bottom. Sci-Fi 2. Tap. Connected. Got our little speaker to come up. Fantastic. And we should see somewhere. There they are. Sci-Fi 2's connected. I'm going to get some music that I'm going to listen to. Nothing overly fancy, but it is stuff that I won't get copyright struck. And I will play it out. You'll hear what I'm listening to. First off, I'm going to just pick something like... And this is just non-copyright music. Let's just find something here. And I've got my volume turned up fairly high. Actually, I might think the low end has come back a little bit. This is more classical. And this volume is up at full, I believe. Yeah. Bring it down a little bit. Okay. So, can you guys hear it first? See what kind of sound leak there is? And now I'm going to let you hear what I'm hearing. But yeah, I would say that there's definitely more low end, I think, than the original sci-fi's. It's got a much fuller sound, for sure. Okay, that's good. Let's try a different one. Let's go somewhere else here. Let's see. I'm just kind of randomly picking some stuff here. I've been kind of picking the classical type music, just, and I'm just random picking stuff. It's got a nice full sound. Again, if, when you're comparing this up against, you know, 50 and $60 earbuds, you gotta make sure you set your expectations around that price point. And yeah, these, these sound okay. And I love that they don't push harder than the, what they're capable of producing. So there's no real breakup of the sound. There's no distortion in it. Yeah, that sounds all right. That's good. Uh, we'll do one last one. Let's see if I can find something that may have maybe some vocal in it. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know most of these songs. Let's try uh, this one. Yeah, I was wondering with the first two if they sounded a little muddy, but I was curious if it was the actual song, and it, and it was, because this one's definitely got a lot more crispness to the mids and the highs, and you can tell it was recorded that way, and this has got a better sound to it, and based on what I usually hear out of other speakers, this sounds right on, right on par with them, so. Now, just you guys won't be able to hear this one, but I am going to just bring up uh, the music player so that I can listen to something that's a little more commercial. And I'm going to listen to Lady Gaga, listen to Telephone Song, and I'm just going to put it on real fast just for the intro and where she starts singing just so I can hear that real quick. No problems with that. I think that sounds good so far. Hold on. Move to that little bass kick kick in. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. Nice low end, good mids and highs. Again, it's not at that level necessarily as if you were paying 150, 200 plus dollars. You gotta remember these are sub hundred dollar, actually closer to the 50, 60 dollar range for earbuds. But yeah, I'd have no problems listening to these. Right, it's good. Little Lady Gaga is good. Yeah, okay, that's good. I, I, I'm, I'm pleased with that. No no concerns at all with those. So I'm gonna just take these, put these back in the case, and if I'm right, it is right in there, left in there. Nice and simply in they go. Now I don't know if my case has any charge, because I would think normally you should have lights on here. Oh, they're not turned off. You can hear them, listen. So they don't turn off when they go back in the case, so just make sure that you guys actually <laughs> turn them off so I'll just pause that. Make sure you turn them off before you put them back in the case because that's probably important. I should just put these back in. Okay, but yeah, I think that's a good thing to be aware of. A lot of earbuds that are out there now, once they get into their case, they automatically turn back off. These ones didn't do that. You can see now that they're in the case, the headphones are charging. So you get a little flashing light on there right now. So sound quality, good. 
nothing wrong with it. I, I'm, I'd wear these all day with no complaints. Am I an audiophile? No, but I'm just someone who enjoys listening to music while I'm out walking or out for a run or a bike ride or just walking around the mall or whatever or just actually hanging around the house. And I think this sounds great. You know what? A lot of people don't want to spend that much money. I'm necessarily one of those people that doesn't want to spend that kind of money on earbuds. So I think I think these will these will fit the bill quite nicely. You get a couple bonuses over the original sci-fi's. Again, I think the sound may be a bit better. A little fuller. Definitely I feel that it has a little bit more low and mid range for sure. Uh, it does seem like you are possibly gonna get a little bit more charge time. So the originals were about 24-ish hours, I believe, where these ones are saying, and it's hard for me to find specifics, somewhere between 30 and 35 hours total with charging case power. And last but not least, it may not be a big thing for a lot of you, but it definitely is a big thing for me, is that this actually finally has USB-C charging. We've gotten rid of that micro USB and gone to USB-C. So I think that's huge because more and more of the devices that you and I are using right now, especially, are being charged with USB-C. So I don't want to have to carry an additional cable to charge these where I can just carry one. Especially if you're going on holidays or just you carry multiple electronics around with you. So USB-C cable on here, fantastic because that's, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. All right, my friends, uh, I am going to get a discount code for those of you that are ordering from Amazon Canada, for sure. I'm gonna put that code down below if you guys are interested because Bowmaker gave me a code for it. So we're putting it down there. How long is it valid for? I don't know, but hey, every little bit helps. It saves you some cash and I'm happy to do that for you. All right, my friends, links down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe and uh, we will be back soon. More videos, more reviews, more tech talk, all the good stuff. Later.